Hey, hellbillies, what's going on? Here I am in my YouTube pajamas. You know it, right? Okay, so we're going to do that pentatonic scale right now. This is such an important one. You can see it on there on your screen. You see those red dots? That's your root notes. A minor pentatonic. Okay, so pay attention to those root notes. I really want you to, you know, to know that that's, that's an A, that's an A, and that's an A in here. Really important we learn those root notes and where they are so we have them in our head. Another thing I want to say real quick is I call out the notes a lot. You'll hear me say the, the note names a lot. I'll try to give you the fret numbers and whatnot too, but I call out the, the notes. It's important. you got to know the notes. You know... I've played with blues guys, you know, old blues guys, and we all knew the notes. You know what I'm saying? I played with Fred from Mississippi. We used to sit on Lake Street, and he used to play a slide, and he taught me, you know, to play rhythm. A lot of rhythm, like rhythm, rhythm, not just, you know, whatever. And he called out the notes. I said, oh, what note is that, Fred? And he'd say, that's a G note, that's an A note, you know. It, it's it's a universal language. I'm not saying you have to learn every note on the guitar neck. Absolutely not. We're going to teach you how to learn all the notes, as you know. But you got to know the notes. So just try to learn one or two as you go, and then they'll all fall in the line. And then I'll show you some tricks. So if you know what this note is, you know what all those notes around it are. Before you know it, you'll know all your notes. But I'm, I call out the notes a lot, so be aware of that. All right? It's pentatonic scale. Only two fingerings. Finger one, finger four, finger one, finger three. Okay, so here we go. One, four, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, four, one, four, four, one, four, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, four, one. Back and forth. Now you see those few little mistakes I made in there? I just kept moving on. Don't take your mistakes and oh, I gotta start over. There's not a lot of starting over when you're playing music in a band. So don't, you know, you're gonna flub a little bit, just move on. Okay? If you flub it up big time and you get blah, 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 and you start, no, oh, then you start over, okay? But don't worry too much about it. Like you're gonna flub a little note. This is practice. You know what? I'll tell you the truth. It's four o'clock in the morning right now. I am not warmed up teaching you this. I didn't sit and practice for an hour before I did it. It's practice, and that's why I wanted to be honest and show you the honesty. I've been playing a long time. I still make mistakes. I haven't warmed up yet. That's what we're here for, though, okay? So the other thing I want to say is let the note ring until you hit the next note, okay? A lot of guys miss that. They choke those notes out too quick. You don't have feeling if you're choking those notes out. Note ringing out is feeling on the guitar. Did you ever hear B.B. King play? He only plays a couple of notes, but he lets them ring. He lets you feel those notes. So it doesn't. everything doesn't have to be a rush. You have to learn to play quickly, too, because you... You know, things do come by quickly, you know, so you got to be able to go. But you also have to let notes ring. And you got to do this for hours. He doesn't have to have an amp on watch TV and do it, you know, just sit there and do this quietly, and that's the nice thing about an electric guitar, when it ain't plugged in, it's almost dead silent, you know, you can turn up the volume a couple of clicks on the TV and watch a football game, um, watch something else that's horrible on the TV, whatever you guys watch, and just keep doing this, so you're just like me, you just can keep talking, and keep talking, and just keep playing, and keep playing, and it doesn't matter because it's just practice, okay? 
when you get really bored of this and your fingers are now working and you're doing this, play it backwards. Now this I'm going to have, I'm not warmed up, so I'm probably going to make a lot of mistakes, but this is what I do. Play it backwards. Start at the C. Yeah, a lot harder that way. And the same thing here, you know. But you know what? Can you hear the difference? Like, it's the same scale, but it sounds like it, it gives you, like, a different feel. And it's practice. You know, it's really important, too. Yeah. It's important that you can go back and forth either way, you know. And there's that A. So, yeah, it's just going to be hours and hours of this when you can do it, you know. So if you got this done, we can move on to the next thing, you know. Um, you know, I'm doing these. I'm not trying to sell you to get to some other website to buy a lesson or anything. I'm, this is just, I'm doing this for you guys and the guys, too, that I teach. So when I'm not there, we can get moved forward quickly because I don't enjoy sitting going over the same thing over and over you know with anybody you know unless it's a song that i'm practicing to play in front of people you know whatever when i'm teaching someone guitar i, I don't want to sit there with them and go you know because i want to go That's what I want to do. But so, but this is that scale. You can see it right there. That's all the notes. There's only five notes in that scale. You gotta remember in this course we're learning, there's only five notes throughout this whole course we're learning. The E, the C, sorry, the A, the C, the D, the E, and the G. Those are the only five notes in the minor pentatonic scale. We're learning them all over the neck, but there's only the five notes. So this is the most, probably most grueling part of, of all of this, is that fingering. Okay? Getting the pinky to work, it's, it, it has to work. You know what I'm saying? We have to get it to work. Um, I'm going to do an exercise on the next one of how to get all four of those fingers to work, which is another important sitting watching TV or doing something, you know, to do, to work on this, okay? But this one is the minor pentatonic position one. Position one, very important, position one. Some people will call this position two. I don't you want to get confused. Maybe, like, some college-educated guitar teacher will be like, oh, that's not position one, that's position two. If you play the blues, you play rock and roll, the way normal people learn, this is position one. So if someone says it, don't, don't take it. Be like, don't argue with them or anything. It's not worth the five minutes of your life. Be like, oh, okay. <laughs> be like, don't say, well, the reverend says that's position one. <laughs> you can if you want. But just be like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, technically, it's position two, but it's position one in the real world. So, again... Let those notes ring, just back and forth, back and forth. And once you can do that, you are going to be so much a better guitar player, no matter what. Even if you just play chords, you got to get your fingers working. It's not that hard, and you can do it. All right? All right, stay tuned for my next one, and we'll do um, a next position. And I'll get to that exercise for you. All right? 
Have a great day, guys. Thanks for sticking with me. Cheers. May your God go with you. Reverend Hellbilly.